Today we're looking at how to clean your USB-C port so that your cables are nice and snug and secure. This is because we're going to be getting rid of all the lint and everything jammed up that port for less than 10 cents in a safe way. G'day and welcome to the channel. Now, this is a Samsung S9 phone. This has a USB-C port on the bottom and that can get full of crap. Like literally just lint, dirt, debris. If you're a tradie, you get concrete slammed up there. Probably try not to get concrete, but you get stuff stuck in your port. Now to clean these ports out, it's an absolute doozy. Uh, it's like, I'll chuck it up here. It's kind of like the letter O, right? And the part that is the actual letter is a part that you can touch. The rest you can't. So to get in these thin ports, it's a difficult. Now you might think, oh, I'll just grab a pin or I'll grab like a paper clip. No, don't go shove metal in there, mate. That's just gonna fry, probably gonna fry your phone up. So what we'll do is we're gonna grab a toothpick, we're gonna whittle it down, make it thin enough just to fit in the port and be able to clean out all of that stuff, get your USB port working as new. It's gonna be fantastic. So let's go jump in the garage. You know, we're gonna do some manly stuff. We're gonna be using some knives. We're gonna be cutting down some wood. You, know, you can't do that in the studio. We're gonna jump into the, uh, the man caves. So let's go. So here we are in the garage with all of our essentials ready to get this job started. You're going to need a packet of toothpicks and one sharp knife. Once you have everything that's required, clean away your workspace. You want to make sure that nothing's in the way and you have a nice clean surface to work on. Okay, so now's the time to get your toothpicks out. It's good to have a couple just in case you accidentally cut right through one of them. Now, as you can see, these toothpicks are quite thin, but unfortunately they're not thin enough. So how we're gonna make them thinner is by whittling away at the surface. So take your knife and hold it at an almost flat angle. You're gonna slide it across here, just trying to shave away little bits of wood at a time. With added pressure, you'll slowly start to see the toothpick become thinner and thinner as you take little layers off. Just take your time. With everything going to plan, you'll have one flat edge. Flip it over and start shaving away on the other side. Once again, repeating the same step as before with a sharp angle and just whittling away little bits of wood to make it thinner. So here we have the final product. As you can see, we've made the toothpick about half the thickness as it was before on one side. And that is just perfect. That's what we need to be able to get around inside the curves of the USB-C port. So let's start attacking that dusty port of yours. So with your new custom toothpick in hand, put it into your port and be gentle, but just turn around and start scraping out all the lint. And here we have our first find. This is a big bunch of lint, and this is what can be the problem of causing a USB-C port to not fully plug all the way in. If you continue to scrape, you'll find more and more lint will fall out of your USB-C port. Now it is best to work with gravity, so tilt your phone downwards so that the dust and other fluff fall straight out of the port as you're scraping. This will ensure that nothing is left behind. And here you can see the shiny metal inside the port. That means we've gotten rid of all of the fluff jammed up there, and here it is. That is quite the little collection. Now my phone was working fine. I purely made this just to show people how to clean their phone, but it looked like I needed to do it anyway. So uh, this will save me issues in the future. So there you have it. That is how to clean a USB-C port on a phone. Now this is applicable to any USB-C port. So if you've got a MacBook Pro, let me just put my phone on silent because it is driving me insane. So if you've got a MacBook Pro and you're living that dongle life, well, if you want to get those dongles to keep sticking, whittle out a toothpick, carve out all of that like mess, that gunk, the lint, and uh, you'll be good to go. Consider subscribing and clicking the bell notification if you enjoyed this quick tip. There'll be plenty more coming along and I'll see you in the next video.
Make sure you click one of the videos popping up in the screen and we'll catch you later.